When life throws us curveballs, we have to find a new way of being in the world. That's what happened to my guest today who says after a traumatic brain injury, he's still finding his new normal. Dr. Jeff Huxford, welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. Glad to be here. We're, we're glad to have you. And you know, you were having an amazing life, the American dream. You had a great family, a great wife. You, uh, you were a doctor, but then the unthinkable happened. What happened to you? Yeah, so I've, I've been working, uh, practicing medicine for 10 years. Um, roughly when this happened. Let me, go, let me go back about six years. I've been practicing medicine six years when this happened. Uh, I'd run into town to pick up something at the, at the hardware store and I was heading back and uh, went through a flashing four-way four stop and a truck was coming. Another, I, stopped the, I stopped at the stoplight. Another truck failed to stop and struck me in the passenger side and ran me into a concrete pole. And uh, uh, again, I, I don't recall any of this. The last thing I recall is being at the hardware store that morning. Wow. But when I ran into the concrete pole, I was wrapped around it and my head struck the pole and I suffered a traumatic brain injury. So we have a picture of that incredible accident. Um, it, that, it looks like nobody would have ever survived that. It's actually a miracle that you're even sitting here, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It was a miracle I survived. So many people, drove, it's, so many people drive by, drove by that day and thought that whoever was in my truck hadn't survived. But um, uh, they had to cut the top off the truck to pull me out and they took me to across the street to a uh, helicopter and flew me to Chicago. And uh, I was in the hospitals up there, one hospital for a week, and then I was transferred to a rehab hospital for three weeks before I was finally able to come home. So broken rib, traumatic brain injury, mm -hmm. punctured lung. Yeah. It should have taken you a lot longer to recover, but that initial recovery, you were recovering really fast. Yeah, for the first two weeks, not so much, two to three weeks. But then, um, yeah, something kind of clicked about three weeks, three weeks out and I started recovering pretty quick because initially they thought I would need to go to like a long-term rehab facility for like months, maybe even years of rehab. They were preparing my wife for that. Um, but uh, yeah, something kind of, tur I turned the, turned the corner about three weeks out and I started getting better and I was able to go home after a month, and, wow. which was uh, another miracle. That's amazing. Well, mm -hmm. this didn't just affect you, obviously it affects your family. Yeah. We have a clip here of your family talking about the impact. Let's take a look at that. Remember when we got to the hospital, I went in to see my dad and I couldn't even walk in the room. I was too scared because the way he looked, he looked so different. Since the accident, um, there, my, my dad has changed a lot and he cannot do most of the stuff that he used to be able to do. But that really doesn't change anything for, for me because he's still like my dad and that doesn't really and we're still a family, and it doesn't really change anything for me. <laughs> what a moving moment, yeah. your kids. It was, yeah, pretty incredible. So affected, yeah. and you know, that, that recovery that you were on didn't last at the same speed. You mm -hmm. did recover, but much slower. Uh, what's different about you now than before the accident? Yeah, well, I think, a, you know, a lot has changed. Um, I'm no longer able to practice medicine. That's a big thing. But I think just um, when you go through a traumatic event like this, especially a traumatic brain injury, so much about you changes. Um, uh, they told me from very early on that after a brain injury, people have to find a new normal. And uh, I was under the impression that with enough hard work and determination, I could get back what I was before. But um, that didn't happen. And uh, it's been quite a... Uh, quite a journey trying to figure out what this new normal is and um, you know before I was a pretty outgoing guy I'm a lot more introverted now um, uh, I never I was never a reader before I didn't read books but now I am always have to read one or two books I'm always reading something uh, I think that you know there's lots of change about me I'm, um, sometimes I'm not really aware of what the, exactly all there is. I think sometimes that you just need to, if you ask my wife or my friends, they'd be able to tell you more, but cause sometimes I'm just not aware exactly of all that's changed, but uh, much has changed for sure. Yeah, cause you're living in your own skin. Yeah, right. Well, right. you've always been a person of faith. Yeah. How was faith seeing you through this time? Yeah, so I grew up, I was blessed and lucky to grow up in a, to grow up in a family that went to church and I uh, was baptized uh, in junior high and um, never never straight too far from the, from the path that I was supposed to be on. Um, so faith has, has always been an important part of my life, but I don't think it was always about, I think I was getting some things wrong because it seemed like it was always about uh, a checklist type faith. Like I was trying to do enough things to earn God's grace and to earn God's love. It wasn't about a relationship with Jesus. 
And I think um, uh, when I discovered it was more about the relationship and not about what I could do and that God and Jesus had already done enough for me, it changed a lot for me and faith became a lot more real to me. And I started living out my faith and being more bold and courageous in how I, how I was living, my, living out my faith. I heard somebody say once that we start our faith journey with God as a free gift and then we do the rest of our time trying to prove that he didn't make a bad choice when he picked us. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's, yeah right. I thought yeah. that was a good yeah, way to Yeah, say exactly. It. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going right. to continue with your story. You uh, were adjusting to a new normal, but unfortunately you got some sobering news from the doctor. We're going to talk about that and how he and his family are dealing with it when we come back.